G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. It's bloody windy. This is the second attempt of shark fishing. I've refined the rig. Twisted up our own big 200 pound haywire twisted 12-0 circle. I'm going to do a weighted bait tied with mono to the bait. I'll show you the rig as I set it up, but I was watching a bit of a uh, black tip hunter. I reckon I've refined the rig enough that we should have some success. We speared a stingray yesterday, walking the creek flats. Got a couple big stingray flaps as bait. I got the kayak here. We're gonna paddle out into that nastiness. It's blown 25, six, seven, eight knots out of the southeast. It's pretty wild, but yeah, we'll rig up this, uh, you rig this stuff up and I'll paddle out. I bought dry clothes because I'm going to get soaked going out through these breakers. Anyway, no beer roll, straight into it. Here we go. All right, we're running half a paver as our weight. It's going to be weight, 40 pound mono to the bait, hook to the bait, off the rod. So if a fish picks up or a shark eats the bait, Cuts away that weak mono, eats that bait. See how we go. I didn't get to mention, we got old Sipes back with us. Two shots Seibel, took him two shots to try and hit this stingray and he missed both times. Really got no idea what I'm doing here, but we're winging it. Right near it. Yeah, yeah man. I don't know. Yeah, but well, I didn't cut enough line, did I? Yeah, but that'll cut easy. When you start up your own shark fishing YouTube channel, you can tell me how it's done. No, that's fair enough. It's not going to smell that. It's going to go for that. Hold a shot in a present. Thing too, four ways, so yeah. yeah, that would have helped. Yeah. Might just slide off. No, that's not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the bones of the thing go straight out the line. Grab me more line, please. Where's the line? Up there. We'll use that now as a cross hatch. We'll go the other way now and tie it to it. Like I said earlier, I got no idea what I'm doing here. I've got an offsider that's got no idea either. All right, where do you reckon? We'll go through a bit of cartilage here. Yeah? Yeah, well, you're telling the story now. Clearly my way didn't work. So we got 250 pound mono through to a twisted 200 odd pound single strand haywire twisted up big 12 o circle mono to the paver for the weight idea is shark eats the bait cuts that weak mono yeah that weight stays out there it's probably not like the most environmentally friendly way to do things but here we go. And I got the worst paddle ever made. I brought the two wrong halves of my good paddle. Luckily there was this thing in the shed, but I might drown. We'll see how we go. Now here we go. Want to get that bait out about 150 meters. Let's see what happens.
At least our baits held together. That's good. Attempt two, here we go. Holy shit, man. <sighs> Dived. Uh, bait's out. That was insane. Oh man. We're gonna be a one bait wonder. I don't think I can do that again. Not once it gets dark. You ready for me to capsize this kayak? I guarantee that's what's gonna happen when I hit these breakers. Holy shit. Brace yourself. Oh, prepared to get dunked. Was unheard of. That's not how the script was meant to go. <laughs> Holy shit.
I've come back down in line with where I dropped the bait. It's straight out about 100 meters. I'm proper cooked. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Picky days. It's our last day here. And it's been terrible weather all week. And today was one of the worst. But you know, we we took that stingray's life. We wanted to use it as a bait. I couldn't have put that effort in to not get a bait out there at least once. See how we go. Oh man. That shit was hectic. So I got the bait set. It's under tension. We've got that paver holding that bait in place. There's a mad crazy southeaster blowing. Crazy swell. I'm physically exerted every last ounce of energy I had getting that bait out there. But it's out there. It's our first and last chance to try and make this happen. We're going to sit here till sundown after dark. See if this thing doesn't go off. I would not suggest doing that. Thing. That was silly. <laughs> just tell the story of what just happened. So he goes out, he gets smashed, which we all knew he would. Then he doesn't walk back up the beach. Actually, before we start, he tells me nothing of what his plan is. He doesn't tell me what to do with the drag, to keep tension on the line, to do anything. He goes down, he gets smashed, he loses 200, 250 metres. Then you go back out. Then I'm looking at the line peel out. The belly of the line doesn't straighten out. I don't know whether to pull it back in or not. He just keeps going. I don't know. <laughs> It's out there now though. I just don't know. <laughs> and we've forgotten everything known to man. Where's the gimbal? Where's the life jacket? Where's the gloves? <laughs> Did we bring the bolt cutters? There's nothing. Oh god. Let's just hope we hook up. <laughs> Alright. Bait's been out there for about half hour, 40 minutes. The rig, the system works, like it's weighted out there, like I know the bait's still on because if the bait gets taken, it's going to cut that weight away, weight away, it's going to cut that weight away, and yeah, that rig will wash in, you'll have slack line, so we know we've got a bait, we know we've got a bait out there, it's just a matter of time, you know, we've got another hour or so before sundown. Might get wet, looks a bit wet down the beach down there, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, just a waiting game now. Disciple told you how silly it was. I won't be doing it again in a hurry. We'll pick our days next time. We won't leave it till the last minute, but yeah. Fingers crossed, man. We just need that eat now. We just need that eat. Uh, we gave it well and truly an hour after dark. Yeah, a couple. Cybel's nearly out of beers, and I'm winching in what appears to be a full weighted rig. I'm assuming the bait's gonna be on there still. This system is meant to at least let you know that you've still got a bait out there. Man, like that's heavy. I'm dragging in a paver and half a stingray flap. There's at least, no, well the paver can't exist without the stingray flap. No, well if I pull the hook out of the stingray flap, there's no paver. It's just a hook and the rig. Yeah. That's what I mean, this, this, this whole system proves that you've still got bait. 
I'm seriously just dragging in a paver and a stingray flap now. And I'm a good 150 meters. <laughs> you had 200 meters in speed. You had another 150 Shine it on the reel. Shine it on the reel. That's where my light is. Oh, seriously, I'm just dragging. I don't want to rip the hook out of the stingray because I want to know that. Well, if it does, then you know it's pulled away at that time, so you still have one. Yeah, but I want to at least see this rig come in with the bait and the paver attached still. It'd be way cooler if I was actually fighting a shark right now, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick it up. Red line's up here. This thing was fully spooled, so there's a... I may have got 200 metres out. I reckon I had a fair chunk of line out. So this is probably going to be a video about uh, my second failed attempt at shark fishing up here. But it's going to be good to know the rig works. It's going to be good to know that this, you know, like I've got a bait and it's out there. I should have been counting how many colours I brought in. I had to have brought in four colours at least already. We'll count them from now on. So that's at least four colours. Easily four colours. It was blue and orange and purple and red and yellow and green and something. That's pink now, so that's at least six colours, so I was at least 60 metres out. That's seven, there's blue. I'm sure as shit it'd be way more cooler whining in an actual shark than just whining in half a paver. Nothing it's, on there. it's not a shark, it's just the weight of the paver. The paver. <laughs> yeah, well that's 80 metres, that's an or that's... That's 90. I think that was green, now it's yellow. That's 100 meters. That's 110 meters. Yeah, fighting a paver is way less cool than you would think. That's 120. That's 130. There's 140, that's green. This is where the gimbal would have come in real handy. There's yellow, that's 150. So I got out a fair way. I don't know, you charge people just to fight a paver. Don't tell them there's no shark there, just let them think it. Here comes the rain. I just want to see this rig's intact. There's 160, man, that's another colour. We're getting close, because that spool's nearly full. 170. I didn't think I got out that far, eh? That's 180. Man, I paddled out. How the hell would I know where I was meant to be? I was just getting hammered. If I had a good offsider on the beach telling me how many colours had gone out. 190. 190, bloody hell. Well, we officially know I made it out 200 metres. That was a bloody good paddle. There we go. Still got the bait intact. Out to the weight. No love. Oh, man. That's hard work. But the system worked, you know, well, I'll pay that. You know, if something comes through, picks this up, that gets cut. Unweighted bait for the shark to eat. Just wasn't meant to be today, unfortunately. But we'll keep that flap. We'll take that brick home, half a paver. Yeah. All right. I call that successful, as unsuccessful as it was. 
It's good to know the system works. It's hard work, cuz. It's hard work. Try dragging a kayak a couple hundred meters. See if you don't have your breathe on the bloody microphone. 